you take another one for posteriority. Okay, you know it's recording. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already recording. Oh, perfect. I'm not going to edit that out. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> Why would you? Welcome to Diave's Blunderful Kitchen. Today we're celebrating the Italian flag by making some margarita pizza italiano. <laughs> we are going to take some dough. Some fresh homemade dough. We're going to pop it down on our floury table. We're going to make it round. You can make it square, you can make it triangular, you can do whatever you want. Try to make it even, I guess would be the best. Someone here said uh, try to make it see-through in the middle if you can. For a thin crust. For a thin crust, which would probably give you a crispier crust. But if you want that hand-tossed, you know, keep it a little thick, and I'm guessing that would be like... Are you going to toss it by hand? Huh? Are you going to twirl it? Can you twirl I, it? I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't. I think you should try. <laughs> well, doesn't it go like Whoa, that? Oh, huh? that was huh? impressive. you got to keep doing it, though. Use what? that centripetal force. What? Keep going, keep going. Keep, woo! <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm seriously impressed. What? Yeah. Haven't you ever seen those guys do it? I've seen him? those guys do it. I've never seen you do it. What? <laughs> and you certainly didn't do it the last piece you made. <laughs> okay, so we got a nice even texture, I think. I think it feels nice, looks nice. All right, now I have uh, a little sprinkler. This is a... Uh, Tell me what this is, honey. It is the powdered sugar shaker. We are multi-using it. It we is have a powdered sugar shaker. Yep. All right. Today we have, we have cornmeal. Today it's a cornmeal shaker so that our dough doesn't stick to our a pizza peel. Brand new pizza peel. Brand new to who? Brand new to everybody. Oh, bro, okay, to everybody. This is brand new to everybody, not just me. It does not release until September 1st. Okay, <laughs> so in a few days, you can get yourself a fine pizza peel. $35 US. I love it. There you go. Now, is, now, what's our trick here? We gotta quickly... Quickly do it. Quickly so that our, our dough pizza. doesn't stick to our pizza peel if it hasn't been seasoned properly. Um, sometimes it gets a little sticky, so you want to hurry up. So I have some sauce measured out nicely in a Pampered Chef silicone bowl. I'm going to spread my sauce to my desire, as thick or as thin, and again you just want an even coat, give it a, a nice even border, or don't, make a picture, I don't care. It's your pizza. It's your pizza. <laughs> you Do whatever, whatever you, you want. want. <laughs> That's right. Alright, here we go. Almost done with that. And before I forget, I want to make a nice shiny crust. So I'm going to take some egg whites, just the egg whites, not the yolk. I don't yolk around about this step. Here we go. Brush the edges. Make them nice and golden. <laughs> brush your brush your on the pizza. Why do they call it a margarita pizza? Um, I don't know why they call it that. I have no idea. I thought it, the chef made it to honor the colors of the Italian flag, which are red, white, and green. Yes. So these are very vivid colored ingredients, and I imagine that's why they were chosen. Uh, also for their taste, they're so dang on good. <laughs> Half of the ingredients didn't make it to the pizza, they all made it to the tummy for the taste test, and they all passed with flying colors. You gotta make sure it's got good ingredients. Alright, here we go. So last time I was criticized for not putting enough cheese on. Here no, I just to... said you could <laughs> put more cheese on it because you had a lot left. There, that's, that's more cheese than the last one. That's probably go. more cheese than you'd find on one in a restaurant, right. but that's okay. That's what kind right. of tomatoes are we using? I believe these are very thinly sliced with a Pampered Chef Sharp Knife Roma tomatoes. Correct. Uh, just because that would be appropriate. They tend to have more flesh in them, less water, and so they're but perfect for a pizza. And they're perfectly cut. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, 
little, a little garlic and herb. Poor herb. Here we go. <laughs> That's not a traditional margarita topping, but we like it. But we like it. Yeah. Sprinkle a little seasoning on the pit. All right. Now, what are you doing? You just. Shove I am going to shove this bugger in. What? Right, right I'm gonna straight get into my the oven? Darker, 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 Wait. Darker, darker. What? You're putting it right straight into the oven? I'm putting it on. To hold on. You'll see. Okay, but I, I didn't think you could. You can't preheat a pampered chef stoneware sure pizza stone. Sure you can. You can with the new one. And this one's got a fancy lip on the back, so I can't overshoot it. And it slides off real nice with the pizza bean. Here we go. <laughs> Now, I believe we did the last one for eight minutes. Yes. And it was absolutely fabulous. Yeah. Timer. Eight. Done. Uh, now, eight minutes. This is where we need the Jeopardy music. <laughs> That's why it's the Blunderful Kitchen. There we go. I have another one. Right here. All, right. all done, all oh, yummy. Oh, it's not done yet. It's missing something. Oh, yeah. Some fresh cut basil. Yeah. Would you like to use the pizza cutter and slice it up? I would. I need a mat for that. I need a mat. Up. I need a pamper chip mat. I am giving you a pamper chip mat. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Sit out. Now we can just leave that there. Oh, so sharp. It's got its own protection. You hear that? Ching. <laughs> it's like a weapon. It is. It would hurt somebody. All right. My favorite. Look at this thing. It's got like a little. Make sure to get your edges cut. The crust cutter. The crust cutter. Works so fabulous. Yeah. Margarita pizza. Do you want to do the traditional big four piece, or should we cut them smaller for the kiddos? Um, kiddos? I would. I'd like a little bit smaller piece. So doesn't matter. We've got one kiddo waiting in the wings for, All right. for a slice. <laughs> That's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good time.